the distinguished delegate of Ireland to present the statement. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, delegates from member states, having an unbroken record of service with United Nations peacekeeping missions since our first deployment in 1958, just three years after the young state had joined United Nations, Ireland is the sixth largest European military troop contributor to UN. Our unbroken and distinguished involvement in peacekeeping is a hallmark of our membership in UN. We are proud of their protection of the human rights in the place, peacekeeping missions, especially in the Middle East, which is the most vulnerable part of the world. We are humbled by the ultimate sacrifice of the 86 Irish personnel who gave their lives in the course of peace. As of May 2016, there were 194 Irish soldiers deployed to United Nations interim force in Lebanon, serving alongside Finnish armed forces. Likewise, Ireland has four such peacekeeping missions in Middle East operating in Syria, Jordan, Lebanon and Israel. Thus, we should say that the global issues in the Middle East are also affecting our country. Ireland being the first European Union member state to declare their solution to the conflict in the Middle, Middle East had to be based on a fully sovereign state of Palestine, independent of and coexisting with Israel. Since 1980, every Irish government has given a high priority to the achievement of a two-state solution, which is now accepted goal of all international efforts. The Middle East peacekeeping process remains a key foreign policy priority for the government. Saudi Arabia and UAE are priority markets under the government's trade, tourism, and investment strategy and are important targets for Irish companies. Through our embassies in the Middle East and by closely cooperating with Ireland's commercial state agencies, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade seeks to promote trade with Middle East and particularly in the priority markets of Gulf. Madam President, the Syrian civil war makes the Middle East more complicated. Therefore, we, accept, we expect the General Assembly to take better resolutions on these Middle East situations. Thank you, Madam President.